Hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you guys are here today, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I am going to be walking through all the stuff that I'm packing along on my vacation coming up in like three days, I think. I decided to make this a video so I can like get this show on the road with this packing. It's kind of a necessity that I need to pack like right now. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below, of course, and give this video a thumbs up. And just clicking on this video just helps me out so much. So I am vlogging today. It has a lot of footage in it that I think you guys would enjoy, the behind the scenes of this, and also just behind the scenes of my life. Check that out, it will be out next week on Wednesday at 5 p.m. One thing that you do need to know about my family is for some odd reason, I do not know why, we use these things to pack up all of our clothing. I don't know why. I, I think the only reason why is that it's easier for packing, like to pack everything in the car. Usually I like to pack my stuff in a suitcase or like a duffel bag or something like that. I am using this ugly looking square cube thingy revolver that I don't like at all. Also, this is just a little disclaimer. This video is gonna be super chill, super relaxed, not a ton of editing. If you wanna check out a video that is a ton of editing and a lot of aesthetically pleasing edits and stuff like that, go check out literally any other video. I will link some down below that are my favorite, but this video is not gonna be it. Just between you and me, this is a last, last minute, minute video. video. Just do with that what you will. And that's all. Pretty much all I'm gonna do is be going through the clothing that I typically bring on a vacation. I'm not gonna go through like the toiletries, and shoes, and stuff like that. This is just purely clothing. One of the first pieces I bring, this is actually from Shein. I got this little overall set thing that ties up here. I always put it in like little bow ties, but obviously if it's just hanging on my clothing rack, I'm not gonna put it in bow ties. I always put like a little cami underneath it. I think that's what this is called, or like a tank top. It is not cropped just because you can't even tell when you're wearing this. One little thing that I always like to do is plan out my outfits instead of pieces that I like to wear. If I plan out my outfits, that way I'm not there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I did not pack anything that are actually outfits. You're kind of stuck with what you have. Florida a couple weeks ago because my boyfriend lives there right now and I have a couple things down there that I like to keep just so I don't have to pack everything and I got down there and I looked at my clothing. I'm like, I literally have two shirts. This is not gonna work, like crap. I like don't know what I was thinking. So this way it just makes life so much easier knowing that you have outfits and that you can just grab the outfits and go. So the next thing is this dress. This is from Paxa. It looks really, really short on camera, but I promise you it's not. I always love packing dresses, especially if I get sunburnt, which I don't typically get sunburnt, but you never know. These are just easy throw on. Next outfit that I'm bringing is this very, very, very simple basic outfit. It's just this jean skirt from Forever 21 and then also this basic soft and sexy top from American Eagle. Just pair these together and it just makes a really, really simple, comfy outfit. So here are some basic tops that I have that I pair with literally any jean short. First of all, these jean shorts from American Eagle. I have these jean shorts that I actually got from thrifting. They're from Just USA, Authentic Originals. I have no idea where that is. I really like them, so I wear them a lot. I also have this pair of like mom shorts. This pair of mom shorts, they're like the same type of fit, but they just have different wash of jean color. These like basic flowy shorts that I wear with that other cami and I like roll it so I can crop it a little bit. That is another outfit with that same cami in there. Now that we've gone through all the jeans, I have a couple basic tees that I can pair with literally any one of those shorts that I desire that day. This one, this got so stretched out it's not even funny. I just wear it as like a little crop top. American Eagle though and I wear it with one of the jean shorts but it got so stretched out that I kind of just like throw it on. I have this really, really, really soft little tank. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this little tank top. It is from Airy. I also have another one that's very similar to this. This is actually from Cotton On. I think that's how you pronounce it, Cotton On. The straps are a little bit thicker up here, and this is a little bit bigger on me, but I kind of just wear it and suck it up anyways. This material isn't as comfy as the Airy one, but this is still very good little add-on top to wear. This is from American Eagle. I got this last year. I doubt that they still have it. I always like pairing that with some mom shorts so it gives like a little tighter up here and then flares out a little bit down here. I don't know how to explain it. It just makes sense in my head. Oh, if that's even right logic, just say. The beach, literally, I'm in my bikini and surf stuff all the time so it doesn't really matter how much clothing I bring. I still bring a ton of clothing as it is so it doesn't really matter. 
as long as I fit it all in this box, that's all that matters to me. Lounge clothing, I bring a lot of this stuff because this is typically what I wear to bed. This is typically what I wear just like lounging around. Also throw on this 7th Street Surf Shop shirt. It's super big. I think this is a size medium, but their shirts run so large there. And this is the shirt that I typically wear once I come out of the water and heading back to the room from surfing. I just feel very comfy and just, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Anyone understand that? Does anyone get it? <laughs> what I'm trying to say? I don't even know how to explain it. Okay, moving on. A lot of surfwear. I never really realized it until this summer how much surfwear I have. It's kind of insane. This one is from Ron John. This is just a basic Ron John t-shirt, but I love it and I love the color so and then I have this billabong t-shirt I'm pretty sure this is a men's size but oh also there's my bunny Mac so if you see him in the background that's why there's a bunny in the background I have this billabong t-shirt pretty sure this is a men's but you know no one really knows I have this 7th street surf shop t-shirt if you can't tell by now I go to 7th street surf shop way too much 7th street surf shop if you are watching this please sponsor me because i love you guys so much and i buy like your entire merch line the next shirt that i have is this rip curl shirt it's so hard to tell on camera but it's just a basic like rip curl gray t-shirt pretty sure that's men's too but no one will know lastly i have this big t-shirt that i wear to bed it's St. John Island. I don't know where that is, but I got this thrifting a while ago and I really like the pattern on it, so. Last thing that I'm wearing to the beach, I forgot to mention this, I'm actually bringing this outfit. I'm just wearing it today. Both of these items are thrifted. Shirt, I just cropped it, and then these shorts are Levi's. They used to be jeans and I just cut them. A few things I have is this tank top from Under Armour. I have literally the exact same one, but just in black. I love, oh, hi. He's so cute. So I have two tank tops that I like to bring just in case if I do run. And also they're just easy if we go to Top Golf to just like throw one and wear. So I always bring Under Armour shorts one and this green one. Let's talk about bathing suits. So see my logic here is there's a bathing suit for every mood. I just decided to bring a lot of them. Um, a lot of these bathing suits are from Shein and I do love Shein bathing suits. Some of them are kind of questionable. A lot of my bottoms are like appropriate to wear to a family gathering. They are a bit cheeky, but I try and keep them pretty covered. Top is this bandeau thing. This is from Shein and the matching bottoms look like this. This is the only pair of high-waisted bikinis that I have. I typically don't like high-waisted bikinis because they give off really weird tan lines and they just are kind of weird sometimes, but this bikini is so, so, so comfy and so soft. It's a really good cut. So this one, this is this top. I do not like the bottoms, so I typically just use this top as a something to wear when I'm surfing underneath my rash guard, so it just looks like this. Where these hurly bottoms, they are a bit cheeky. They're just like very, they're just cheeky. I, I think personally they're cheeky. I just wear these hurly bottoms with them and they don't really match a whole lot, but in my eyes it's fine. And I wear this rash guard from Hurley. They look so cute together. I look so tan in that, just saying. But yeah, that's my usual surf setup. I have to bring my half wetsuit, so I'm not 100% sure about that. Next one I have is just when I go to the pool or just like swimming around or something like that when it's not hot out and I won't get weird tan lines. This is the next one. This is actually from Aeropostale from like four, three years ago. Still have it and still fits, so why not? These bottoms, they are like ribbed. Just very, very simple bikini. So have this one piece. Oh my gosh. Just in case if that day I just really want to wear a one piece. Sometimes I wear it if we go to like a water park or something like that just so that everything stays together and then the last bottoms i have are these white ones from shein i never even wore these yet because i'm waiting for two bikini tops you get the bikini tops in the mail from my friend bailey she actually has a youtube channel if you want to check it out down below she does live in florida though so she's sending me two bikinis that she didn't want anymore i think the last thing i always pack are just spandex for when i wear dresses or something random but other than that that is pretty much it for this video it was just very simple very sweet i always love seeing what people pack on vacation without further ado thanks so much for watching okay 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 thank you so much for watching this video i'm so glad that you stick around to the end i will try and link everything down below that i can find if not then i'm sorry thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye